So we learn about uh, joint space trajectory planning when we want to rotate our single degree of freedom robot of one joint, the eye. They got the initial position and final position. So it is imperative that we analyze the speed of this uh, angular position by differentiating the uh, the polynomial. Uh, model that are being uh, used in the angular speed rotation by differentiating it uh, with time and we'll get the speed of the polynomial in a certain way that accelerate uh, that uh, slowly rising and going downward in a smooth way the smoothness of speed is necessary when we differentiate for example the the speed again when we do one more time differentiation then we get the angular angular acceleration we'll got we'll get the finite value of acceleration even though it, it rise instantaneous, instantaneously but it got finite value and it decelerate and going downward the acceleration value and going downward below the positive value positive it become negative it's like breaking and and going back to to uh, zero position so the joint space trajectory need to be planned in order to get finite value of angular acceleration this is uh, necessary if you do not plan the trajectory or if we wrongly plan the trajectory let's say we use y equal to mx plus c a linear line, a straight line when we differentiate one more time it will become rectangle shape and you know rectangle shape when we differentiate one more time it become positive infinity and negative infinity and you know force equal to ma if acceleration is infinity force become infinity when force become infinity it's very, uh, it causes a lot of burden very large burden to motors and motor uh, will become heated and uh, not reliable for commercial purpose so that's why we need to properly plan the trajectory in order to get uh, smooth speed and finite acceleration smooth speed and finite acceleration please refer to a subsequent, subsequent lecture of uh, modeling this uh, angular position trajectory thank you